Greetings everyone, this is Curtis Duncan, aka Dr. C, checking in with you. Haven't uh, spoke to y'all in a minute, but it's all here and it's all love. And today we're going to talk about how to prevent the cold and flu. As I recently put out on Facebook, I haven't been sick in about four years and counting. And I don't plan on getting sick either. Uh, and when it comes down to it, you know, being healthy is about developing consistent habits in your life. Uh, which are sustainable and you know and it just becomes a part of you and I've just developed over my life just a habit of being healthy you know I don't deal with disease or sickness and as I get more information then I'm guaranteed health so and that's the difference between people who are sick and who are healthy the difference is the lack of information that sick people have and uh, you know, and the, the the good information oftentimes, or let me say, the good habits that people who are healthy have. And I'm one of those individuals. I won't necessarily state that I'm necessarily, you know, I've always been healthy or throughout my life. But with the right information, you can be perfectly healthy and not deal with doctors and um, ineffective medicines and whatnot. So, you know, around now, everyone always is talking about the cold and flu season, which is a fraud. There is no cold and flu season, ladies and gentlemen. There is only a season in which people are deficient in vitamin D. Research has shown that vitamin D is the reason why people get sick during the so-called winter. Because people don't get these colds and flus during the spring and summer when people get exposed to more when people get exposed to more sunlight and the vitamin D levels go up. But during the fall and winter, when vitamin D levels dramatically drop people get sick, people get the cold, people get the flu. And if you are serious about not getting sick this summer, one of the, the best things you can do is to take a high quality vitamin D supplement. Research has shown that vitamin D totally prevents the flu. I didn't say, oh, well, you know, lowers the risk. I didn't say, you know, reduces the risk. I said totally prevents it. There have studies that have shown that when people have adequate amounts of vitamin D, they did not get the flu. And how does this work? Well, vitamin D is a very important, is the most important substance you can have an abundance of if you are seeking to prevent the cold and flu. The reason being is that vitamin D is an immunomodulator. And there is a whole section of our immune system that is not going to work unless it, there are sufficient amounts of vitamin D in our bloodstream. And what vitamin D does, is it, it produces over 200 or more antimicrobial peptides, which, as I mentioned, do not work unless there's sufficient amounts of vitamin D that actually kill off microbes. And vitamin D also prevents your immune system from going into overdrive and causing inflammation, which has been shown to cause millions of deaths in the 1918 flu. So vitamin D is the most important Thing we can have in our fight against the flu and as I mentioned people who have adequate amounts of vitamin D they do not get the cold or flu plain and simple now I'm not discounting all the other things managing your stress and consuming uh, antioxidant rich foods and all the different things that go along with health, having a healthy immune system but vitamin D is the basis everything else kind of just comes together as this perfect medley in, in, in having a healthy immune system recipe but if you are deficient in vitamin D, you are guaranteed or you, you are you know, greatly increasing your chances of getting sick this season. You don't have to get sick. I don't plan on getting sick. I have adequate amounts of vitamin D. I take a very high quality vitamin D3 supplement. Uh, vitamin D2 is toxic. You don't need that. It's found in pasteurized dairy products which you don't need to be consuming. But if you are taking a high quality vitamin D supplement, that will be your best bet to prevent the cold or flu and there are all the other symptoms that go along with it. Now, uh, you know, a lot of people say, oh, well, you know, I could just get sunlight exposure. That's not the case. Vitamin D cannot be produced in 95% of the places, 95% of the country because the UV, the UV index is not high enough. There has to be a certain UV index for you to produce vitamin D and uh, you actually have to, you know, you actually have to expose most of your body to get it. And if you're African American, you have to get way more vitamin D than a person who is a lighter complexion. So that's why, if, like I said, if you're interested in, in, in just totally uh, eliminating the flu if you develop it, or if you're interested in, in totally preventing it, your best bet 
would be to take a high quality vitamin D3 supplement. Now I can tell you the exact doses to take and uh, what to do if you, are, if you have already developed the flu and my new special report on how to get vitamin D. It is the best thing and I've done, I've been doing research now for the past eight years and I've just been amazed at, at all things vitamin D does, especially for your immune system. It works better than zinc, it works better than vitamin C, it works better than anything you can think of, garlic, echinacea, any other supplement or herb you can think of. It works ten times better than that. As I mentioned, there, there's a whole segment of your immune system that actually, you know, usually it just stamps out infections before another aspect of the immune system has to, has to be stimulated altogether. And that, that response has been used by, by, by 60 million years and it requires vitamin D for it to work. And if there's not adequate amounts of vitamin D, then it will not work. And I'll post more information to the upper, into the upper box, description box, so you can you know, do your own research. But vitamin D is the best thing you could do for having a healthy immune system and to totally prevent disease and just about any type of cancer you can think of. So that would be my recommendation. Get their, special, get their special report. I have all the information you need on there about getting out of amounts of vitamin D, the doses that you need consistently, what to do if you're deficient because most people are. So they require a higher dosage uh, to get their vitamin D stores up to par and uh, what doses to take if you are trying to eliminate the flu because vitamin D is very effective for that, uh, particularly if you're taking very high doses. So thanks again, y'all. Uh, feel free to reach out to me with comments or questions posted down below. And uh, have a wonderful day, and take care. Peace.